Hi and welcome to Paradise. We're staying in Nakato right now and we are going to show you the sights and sound of this beautiful village. Hi. I'm fine, how are you? This is my house and this is my house. All right, I'm about to show you guys around my house. Come with me. First thing you'll notice is a beautiful doorway, homemade, custom made, handmade, to almost the exact height needed for me to pass through this. Adrian would have trouble getting in here. As you can see, the pets are inside my house. Most people wouldn't allow pets inside such a luxury um, piece of accommodation, but I'm a huge softie for animals, so I let them stay in here. They hang out. This is my bedroom. It's called enough to the rest of the house. Um, just gives me gives me some privacy from the pets and the uh, legions of children that want to come and disturb me at all hours of the night. <laughs> um, not much to show you in here. This is my wardrobe, and right here, this is my ensuite bathroom. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> It's very important to not leave your toilet next to your tap or your drinking water. That would be uh, quite upsetting. So yeah, that's about it for my house. Thanks so much for coming and looking around. I hope you guys can see and understand and are not too jealous of the luxury accommodation that I get to stay in in Nakatu village. Um, let's go check out Adrian's house right now. All right, let's uh, move houses and see where what my luxury accommodation looks like. Will be this little apartment here. Um, come on in, come on in, don't be shy. So right now I have two tenants occupying, occupying my little house, which is Swiss girl Leonie and uh, Seth, Seth dog. So uh, yeah, it's three rooms, kitchen, bathroom, pretty much all included. It is biodenegrable, GMO, non-GMO specified. Gore not Gore-Tex, but pretty much Gore-Tex slash Matat. Breathability, you will never get warm in here, nor cold. And uh, yeah, check out, I don't know what you want to see, there's my bedroom over there. This lovely little privacy center. All right, that's my house for now. I hope uh, you enjoyed the little insights. It is affordable, it does the job. I can sleep there, I can eat there, I can go kayaking every day, a few days. Okay, you've already seen my ensuite bathroom, now I'm going to show you the main bathroom. As you can see, there is no privacy with this bathroom, and the kids love to hang out and see how we poop. <laughs> Literally hanging out. This is the main bathroom right here, and it, um, it smells great. It's a good, it's a good relaxing poop spot. Welcome to the resting cooking area. Right now here we have five star stoves, Maguni cutting tables and uh, all the accessories you need to come up with a great dinner every single night. So yeah, happy days. When you, when, when you said Maguni, mm. did you mean mahogany? No, no, I meant Maguni. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this village is how many pets there are. So many pets, this is amazing. You walk out of your house and you're literally living in a petting zoo. Brikey. Hey mate, we're here with a little beauty. Hey, um, <laughs> I can't do it. I always wanted to be Steve Irwin as a kid, but I'm, I'm not Steve Irwin. But this is about as close as I can get without being eaten. But check out this. That's a chameleon. I think. <laughs> You might be wondering how much money we pay for this luxury accommodation. Our current rent is 20,000 20, shillings a week, which is the equivalent of uh, not that much money in English pounds. But people were renting it off are stoked for that amount of money, as are we, and uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good situation right now for everyone, so I'm stoked. By far the sickest part of this village is how close we are to the now special wave, one of the sickest big waves in the world and my favorite wave. So we're about to get the drone up right now, show you guys uh, how just how close we are to the river here, and then we're gonna go have a session. It's gonna be sick. <laughs>
verbal presence is herbal lessons I'm in your head, all up in your noggin From the morning till you get in bed Get the picture lyrically, I hit you till you're spitting red Y'all been working nine to fives, I've been doing this instead I'm just a different bread, kiddo from Atlanta Hand a microphone to me and watch the world become a fan of Mr. Schultz, give me the beat and I give it a post like I'm reviving it College kids will lead it up the way that I be rhyming it My flow is dominant, spit so quick I freaking vomit it Give it a minute, I'm fine with it, I'm down to take my time with it I front the world star and hadn't even made a dime from it So if you wanna tell me I ain't shit I ain't buying it Coming in off the dome Straight violent Tell me how I feel Could've signed a fucking deal Freestyling Consider this a message From a young and representing Rappers hopping on the beat And straight riding it Atlanta what up, what up?